Torkelson's the, the highest impact bat in the class. The best amateur hitter I've ever scouted. I think Torkelson's got that chance to be one of those historical draft talents as far as the offensive impact goes. I mean, he's got tremendous raw power that, that translates into games. I and mean, he broke Barry Bonds' home run record as a freshman. If his junior season had it ended this year prematurely, he was two home runs away from breaking Arizona State's all-time career home run record held by Bob Horner. And Arizona State's one of the very best programs in college baseball history. These were, were very hallowed records that he broke. You're talking to evaluators, I mean, you just hear so many superlatives. I, I had guys tell me that he could step straight into the big leagues. He's the most advanced college hitter they've ever seen. You're looking at a 60 bat with 70 power as the upside, like 70 game power. So roughly translated that that's kind of the expectation of the guy to hit 300 with 30 home runs every year. He's got a very short swing. He gets to his power without selling out all of his contact. He's got good pitch selection. He has to strike out a lot. He's performed at a record setting level for three years in the Pac-12, two summers for Team USA. He's basically done everything he can do as an amateur to be the number one overall pick. I mean, Pete Alonzo is probably the best current comp. Um, and obviously a guy who had a monstrous first year. And it, it'd be unfair for us to say we expect Torkelson to hit 55, 60 home runs as a rookie or, or whatever Alonzo did. But that, I think that's probably the closest comp. You know, defensively, probably a first baseman. I think, you know, he's maybe a little bit more athletic than he gets credit for. He may be able to play left field. Third base, probably a long shot, but it's really not going to matter where he plays. The bat is so good. I, I, I'll be shocked if he's not a star. In a normal year, uh, he's probably a guy that gets taken and he goes and gets a handful of at-bats in Lakeland and he finishes the season in Erie. And by late 2021, he's knocking on the door to play in the majors. In 2022, he's a staple in your lineup. A guy you think you can put in the middle of the order and hit 30 bombs with, with a high average and high on base numbers. That seems like the type of guy the Tigers need in their system, in the organization, and, and he's going to be available over there for them at one. Uh, you hear some of the same, same stuff you heard about Casey Mize coming out, like he's ridiculously dedicated to his craft. He knows his swing better than anybody else who can analyze it. With the additional stuff and the Tigers moving to, to more of an analytically based approach and their player development system and stuff like that, obviously that, that adds to the profile for a guy like Torkison, no, no doubt.